Hello everyone and welcome to another video with the Drew Gamer. This is going to be a reaction video to the new Kingdom Hearts trailer that just dropped for the DLC called Remind. Uh, so I, it's all literally just come out like as of two minutes ago. So I'm very excited to get this started and see what's going to happen. I'm like, I'm so excited. I might do a little bit of analysis afterwards, but I just want to see the trailer first and then we'll get into it. All right. I don't think I'm ready for this, but it's going to be... <laughs> It's going to be interesting. I'm very excited, as you can tell. So, <coughs> Still coughing. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, so during that time. Already gone back into the past. Nothing can change that fact. What? なんだ。その気ぶれとは。どうしてそれと同じ。まさか。いや。いや。あれ、ちょっと<笑> Is that a bonus part of the battle then? Are these battles back? Oh nice! 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 どちらが多名人。波ね、あ、ちょっと待って。あの海と空だけの世界で待ってて。空はうん。うん。あ、そこから離れて、あの海と空だけの世界で待ってて。空はうん。うん。あ、そこから離れて、あの海と空だけの世
maybe play as Axel, and there's some new scenes in there that probably explain stuff that happened that was off-screen, maybe, and I'm kind of happy about that because there was a lot of stuff in Kingdom Hearts 3 that was sort of there, but it didn't really explain some of it. Ooh, that Keyblade. It's the Oath Keeper. Yes! It's the Oath Keeper. The Oath Keeper wasn't in the... Wasn't in Kingdom Hearts 3 for whatever reason, nor was the Oblivion. So maybe they're bringing in new Keyblades as well. So like the Oblivion and the Oath Keeper. That'd be good. Unless Sora gets it. And Sora's in like final form there as well. Oh, he does have the Oblivion. I just saw it. I just saw he's got the Oblivion. Yes! <laughs> he does, that's the Oblivion. Yes! So that's good. That's exciting. <laughs> So like I said, so it's in like final form, so maybe that's a new form for the Oath Keeper. That'd be really interesting to see. Then Aqua and then have like a dual attack. Oh. It's at this point I'm hoping that my microphone's been loud enough through this whole thing because it's kind of hard to judge it. But, oh. Naminé and then Terranor and Xehanort. Uh, Ze Terranor and Xehanort. Terra and Terranor get to an encounter there right at the end oh my god so it kind of like it just seems to be like there's a lot of story points it's trying to say oh this is from what i can tell it's trying to remind us of stuff that's happening in the kingdom hearts series <coughs> as a different alternative maybe because it says something about a heart being in the past so maybe sora's heart was already there it already existed in that time. The heart you have now. Oh, it's the other heart that's in Sora that we don't know about. Maybe, because there was a third heart. It said there was three hearts in him, which were... Everyone thought was Shion, but I don't think it was. Um, okay. So, yeah! So it's coming this winter, and oh my god, that's a lot of information, but I was really excited for that. I've, I've been waiting for that since they dropped the first trailer. So, that is going to be the end of the video today. Let's pause that for now. That is going to be the end of the video today. I'm so excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. I haven't, like, officially on my channel, I haven't done Kingdom Hearts 3 yet, or on live stream. so maybe I'll do it once that comes out, and then... That'd be really cool. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a quick reaction to it and a really quick analysis. But I wanted to try and keep it as short and sweet as possible. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.